Let us consider another example for a superposition theorem. Superposition theorem by using two voltage sources we solved a numerical problem. After that we go for another type of uh, numerical problem that is one current source and voltage source. Here 20 amps current source and three resistances are connected 8 ohm, 12 ohm and 30 ohm plus and minus it is a 5 volt source it is current source the current is moving after that it is dividing in this circuit from 5 volts also the current will come and it will go 8 ohms and 30 ohms hence the current through 8 ohms we have to calculate find the current through 8 ohms resistance for the given circuit using superposition principle or theorem for superposition theorem what is superposition theorem the current through 8 ohms resistance is algebraic sum of currents flows through each source acting alone whereas another source is deactivate in the first step we go for activate 20 amps current source and deactivate 5 volts after that we go for 5 volts activate and 20 amps will be deactivated how the current source will be deactivate by open circuit the voltage source will be deactivate by 0 volts we have to make this voltage source hence by short circuit we can replace 5 volts voltage source in short circuit voltage will be 0 there are two loops in the above circuit hence we n plus 1 steps are required for 3 steps we required first we go for 20 amps voltage current source will be activated and 5 volts voltage source will be deactivated step 1 is consider 20 amps current source and deactivate 5 volts current source voltage source by short circuit because in short circuit voltage is zero now redrawing the same circuit 20 amps we consider 20 amps will flow up to this point through 8 ohm and 12 ohm the current will divide current through 8 ohm we have to calculate i1 and i2 ikkada i1 8 ohms resistance lo poye current i1 anukundam and 12 ohms lo poye current I2 and we short circuited this 5 volt source that is V equal to 0 on Japan. If you have current, low resistance path will be chosen. The current will be chosen the low resistance path. Hence, 30 ohms resistance it is. 30 ohms resistance will be current will not flow here because it's a low resistance path already there. Hence, we can redraw the circuit by it is acts as dummy branch there is no current flows through that hence we can neglect this dummy branch after that we draw the circuit it is 12 ohm it is 12 ohm it is 8 ohm now it is 8 ohm it is 12 ohm and the current flow through 8 ohms resistance we have to calculate assume that it is i1 already we assumed I1 is the current flow through 8 ohms resistance. What is the current here we are dividing? Up to 20 amps will flow up to this junction or node. After that it is dividing. Hence the current through 8 ohms resistance can be calculated by using current division rule. What is current division rule? Current through total current is 8 20 amps. After that it is dividing. Current division rule Current division rule says that total current into opposite resistance by opposite resistance plus current branch resistance that is 8 ohm what is the current division rule again see current through any branch is equal to total current into opposite branch resistance divided by opposite branch resistance plus current branch resistance 20 amps is the total current flow and opposite branch resistance becomes 12 ohm and present branch resistance is 8 we added both in this current through 8 ohms we have to calculate it is current branch it is opposite branch opposite branch is current is dividing here 8 ohms low by current and i2 2 i1 i2 ga divide out and the opposite branch resistance is 12 ohms whereas current branch is 8 ohm now we substitute total current entering is 20 amps after that it is dividing opposite branch resistance is 12 ohm by 12 ohm plus 8 ohm is the present branch resistance or current branch resistance that is equal to 12 amps we will get 12 into 12 by 20 20 20 get cancelled after that we will get 12 amps but direction is right hand side right hand side direction it is 
now coming to step 2 consider 5 volt voltage source and deactivate 20 amps 20 amps current source current source will be deactivated by open circuit when open circuit current becomes zero 20 amps becomes zero when you open circuit it now the circuit will be 5 volts and 30 ohms 12 ohms and 8 ohms like that the circuit will become now it becomes a dummy branch if you replace this it has a dummy branch we can neglect that hence 12 ohms 8 ohms and 30 ohms and the circuit becomes like this 12 ohms and 8 ohms are in series hence we are writing that 20, 20 ohms after that 20 and 30 are in parallel the combination is 12 ohms are equivalent is 20 into 30 by 50 that gives 12 ohms 12 ohms is the parallel combination will come Therefore, total current is V by R, I equal to V by R, 5 volts by 12, 0.416 amps will come. Now, we are calculating what is the current through 8 ohms resistance. I3, I8 ohm equal to, assume that I3 is the current through I8 ohm. That is, total current into opposite branch resistance is 30 ohm. Here, dividing current is, 30 ohms, 8 ohms, 2 currents divide out. But opposite branch resistance, 30 ohm out. The opposite branch resistance by total resistance 12 plus 8 after that we will get 0 0.249 amps this is the current direction is opposite left hand side previously we come 12 amps is right hand side direction also important the arrow mark is coming to left to right and right to left the current is in step 3 we have to go for step 3 in step 3 current rate form is as arrow mark is both opposite in nature we have to difference make the difference current through 8 ohm resistance is 12 minus 0 0.249 amps that equal to 11.751 amps that is the answer what is the current through 8 ohms resistance